Nick Schiffer and ABC News, Rome. Well, that's the story from Rome and the Vatican. Why don't we check in on the rest of Northeast Ohio? Wow, what a soggy night and morning. Yeah, quite a start to the day. We've got a little bit of a dry pocket for most of us right now. However, the roller coaster continues. We're going to see some snow coming up later on this afternoon, probably just in time for the evening commute. So there's that. Yeah, let's take a look outdoors. We want to go to our Serpentini uh, Tower Cam, and you can see there's mostly cloudy skies out there, a little bit on the gray, dreary side at the moment, uh, but at least it's dry. That it is. Again, most of us saw the rain come through early this morning, and we're going to get something of a break coming up right now, and then additional precipitation coming up in time for late this afternoon. I anticipate things getting going around uh, the middle of our area and the eastern sections, probably 4 or 5 o'clock. Some of the extreme western sections seeing a little bit of precipitation even right now, but again, most of us looking at uh, fairly dry conditions. We've got a couple of systems, though, that are going to be working their way toward us. And uh, one is a cold front that is going to be accompanied by a system of low pressure. Again, that low pressure system, that's going to be a snowmaker for us. So for right now, though, temperatures not all that bad. We're looking at readings that are a little bit above normal for this time of year in some locations. Uh, right around 40 degrees is where we should be right now. Men are at 43, 42 for downtown Cleveland, Elyria with 43. Other locations seeing some temperatures that are right around 40 degrees. That's the case in Ravenna as well as Canton, New Philadelphia, right at 40, 39 for Worcester. It's an even 40 degrees in Medina, 38 now for Millersburg. Once again, though, things are likely to change. And here's what's going on. You can see there's something of a circulation there, that counterclockwise circulation. That's a system of low pressure. Adjoining that, is a cold front. These two systems are going to come through very close together late this afternoon. Again, I think we're going to start to see changes for most of us for 5 o'clock, unfortunately, right in time for the evening commute. The air should get cold enough that we're likely not going to see rain, but instead likely going to see a little bit of snowfall. Here's what we're expecting again. In time for the evening commute, about 6 o'clock, most of us looking at snow. Some of us are going to see something of a wintry mix. As we go through the evening hours into early tomorrow morning, hit and miss snow, not all that much. Again, we'll, we'll see some accumulation, particularly uh, right along the uh, primary snow belt area. But as we get into Friday, things start to break apart, and it's going to be pretty quiet at that point. So for today, we're looking at our high temperature that's really already come through. Temperatures are going to be falling during the afternoon. Snow Snow starting up at about 5 o'clock this afternoon, and we're going to see some on again, off again snow throughout the evening hours, one to three inches possible with the higher accumulations uh, right along the primary snow belt. Lump some additional snowfall in the forecast for tomorrow. Friday, not so much tapering off. By Saturday, we should be dry but cold. Sunday, a little additional snowfall. Dry on Monday, some more snow for Tuesday. We'll be right back. The only thing you have 